Good morning, everybody. Day two, 4.30 in the morning. Here we are at the Grand Canyon. Something's happening behind me that's pretty darn spectacular. And for those of you that have a bucket list, I'm sure visiting the Grand Canyon's on it. But sunrise at the Grand Canyon should be higher on your bucket list than just the visit. So we came out to see this, which is pretty spectacular. Again, it's just one of those opportunities that if you can get off road, go see the country. You don't have to worry about COVID out here. You can keep your distance but you still have the opportunity to really experience some of the majesty of what this country is all about. And that's what I love about overlanding. And at the end of the day, it's just me and the outdoors, and I've got the gear to protect me. I've got a good place to sleep. I've got a reliable vehicle. Uh, I know how to use it. All those things are there. And I'm hoping people that join us at Old Man Overland learn to do the same thing, build confidence and be able to go out in the outdoors and, and feel comfortable doing what they're doing with their vehicle and with their camping gear. So today's gonna to be a busy day, heading up to Moab, gonna visit Arches and a few other places, then keep heading northeast up through the mountains. So exciting time to be alive and we're gonna have a fun day today. So we'll catch up to you then. Well, things are going along swimmingly, and then all of a sudden, uh, I notice my temperature gauge is going up. I'm thinking, wow, what could that be? Gee, I wonder. Well, I'm pulling an Airstream and an electric bike and a loaded down FJ Cruiser, all in the middle of the desert. I think yesterday we got up to 109, and now we're going uphill. So all that makes sense. So I've stopped at Tuba City. I just talked to Chuck, who's the only mechanic in Tuba City at Tuba City Auto. And he goes, well, your food looks pretty good, but... This bike you got in front of you, which looks really cool, by the way, is blocking all the air coming into the uh, into the radiator. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this down a little bit and see if we can create a little bit better draft into the engine so that we can make, uh, make this work a little bit. So we're going to take it off of the track. We had it. Got our three straps down, and I think we're going to be okay. I think Chuck's advice was pretty sound. Our friend here at Tuba City, let's get some of that airflow back in there. So now the airflow is completely unobstructed. Bike is sitting lower, which aerodynamically I think will be a little better. Uh, the strap in the middle doesn't look as cool. Oh well, such is life. It's on there really good, and I had to pop out this wheel just to. Uh, Avoid ripping this, which I don't want to do. So, well, maybe we'll tuck that in and see how it works. But overall, I think we're in pretty good shape. So, quick fix on the trail, thanks to Chuck and Tuba City, and uh, we'll hope to keep our temperature cool and together for the rest of the trip.
So wrapping up another great day. We're up and just crossed over Utah. We're at Mexican Hat, Utah. Can you see the Mexican hat behind us? You know, I mean, in terms of hats, I kind of like mine, but boy, in terms of making something out of sand and stone over millions of years, that's, that's probably pretty awesome. So we'll take that one. Tomorrow, we'll be in Moab all day. We're about an hour outside. So we're gonna catch up with you then, get off road, get a little dirty and have some fun. <laughs>